guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the error in Java that some people have been seeing. This says a Java exception has occurred, and then you it'll prevent you from trying to open up, you know, whatever you are going to open. So a lot of people noticed this with either certain Minecraft launchers, and some other people noticed it. A lot of people noticed it with the Minecraft mod tool that I uploaded the beta for yesterday, and that is the problem because then you can't use it, and that sucks. So what the problem is, is that you're probably running either Java 6 or Java 7, and those are older versions, and you need to be running Java 8, because I know, at least with my program, that it isn't compatible with either Java 7 or Java 6, so we need to get Java 8 installed. Now, for some reason, Oracle hasn't really pushed out Java 8. It's there, but it just really hasn't been, you know, uh, really talked about and brought out into the open for some reason. I don't know why, but I had this issue on my second computer, which I'm using right now, and it was weird. So this method worked for me, and hopefully it'll also work for you. So in the description, there's two downloads. There's 32-bit and 64-bit. You, you need to only go with one of those downloads, and if you don't know if you're running a 64-bit or a 32-bit operating system, here's how you can tell. So on Windows XP, Windows Vista, and Windows 7, you have the little Start button down here in the corner. So just click on that, go up to Computer, right click, hit properties, and then it'll bring this window up right here. So you can see here on 60 or on system type, you have 64-bit operating system. That's what I'm running, so I would use a 64-bit download. And if you're running the 32-bit operating system, you go with the 32-bit download. Now if you're on Windows 8, you probably have to do it this way. So click on the little folder icon down here, then you can see computer right here. Right click, properties, same exact way. So once you get that downloaded, you need to open it up, and then just like any other Java, you know, pro, in Java installer, any Java update, whatever, you just have to go through the installation process, and you'll have it installed. You do not need to reboot your computer or anything; it'll just work. So then you can use, you know, Minecraft or the uh, Minecraft mod tool that I made. So that's all you got to do, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.